Happy Tuesday, Calvary. Thanks for joining me for the word of the day. One of my favorite Disney cartoons is Aladdin, but I'm always a little bit disturbed by the first song where Aladdin and Abu try to escape the guards who are chasing them after stealing an apple. In that song that they sing while they're running around town, they have this line, gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Those simple words set up a logic to disregard what is taught in today's passage from Exodus 20, verse 15, which says, you shall not steal. Ethicists like to debate when is stealing okay. But if we're honest, as sinners, we like to try to figure out ways that wrong behavior might be considered ethical. But the Eighth Commandment makes it pretty clear that God doesn't want us taking others' possessions. The things that God has given us are a gift. He has given them to us as stewards, and we are to use them as God directs. Jesus added clarity to the commandments, do not murder and do not commit adultery. When Jesus was teaching, he equated lust to adultery and hatred to murder. There are heart-based sins that need to be avoided even before these outward manifestations of sin take place. And I wonder what might be the heart-based sin that leads to stealing. Occasionally, our lack of gratitude might lead to stealing. Failure to be thankful and content with what God has provided could lead a person to steal. Related to that, greed for more may motivate us to take something that doesn't belong to us. Not only do we need to repent from thievery, but we also need to repent from the lack of gratitude, discontent, and the greed that leads to it. Another motivation for stealing, as illustrated by Aladdin and Abu, might be hunger. But whatever the motivation, stealing isn't right in God's eyes. The prohibition against stealing is repeated in the New Testament in Ephesians 4, 28, which says, let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor doing honest work with his hands so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. God's word makes it clear that it's really hard to just stop doing something that's wrong. We have to replace it with something that's good. Here, we are encouraged that if we typically steal to get the things we need, it's not enough to just stop stealing. Rather, we are to work so that we will have something to share with those in need. Here we see God's solution to us personally, but also as a community. We shouldn't steal, but should work for what we need. But our work doesn't stop with only meeting our own needs. A part of the motivation for work is so that we can share with those in need. Work reflects the personal solution for those who are hungry. From a community point of view, the ethical solution for those who are hungry is for those who are working to share with those in genu genuine need. Sharing food with those who are hungry is part of God's plan for your work. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could eliminate hunger as a motivation for stealing because we are eager to share with those in need? Aladdin would have been a much different movie if he had taken up working to get his food and to capture the girl's heart. No magic genie, no magic carpet ride would be needed. It would have also been a different movie if there had been Christ followers there providing for his needs, sharing what they had, and helping him to see a better way to live. I hope as you go about your work today, you see God meeting your needs and providing ways for you to meet the needs of others. Go make it a great day.